Hello and welcome to gfxtoday.com What we're gonna be doing today is that we'll be putting our 3D pin that we have done in the previous tutorial in a real 2D image So be sure to stay with me, my name is Abanov and this is gfxtoday.com So in our 3D Studio Max there is a way to do that and this is by pressing M in our material editor there is a material called matte and shell this material allows us to take the shadows from our scene and put it on a transparent background so to understand this one we're gonna make a plan here and apply our matte and shadow material to it matte and shadow and assign material to our plan and we can put spear here and maybe a box we can make this larger and go to our create panel lights and skylight check cast shadows make it maybe 10 and now press F9 to render so basically what we have here is the ball sphere and box and nothing else we can't see nothing but if you go to our alpha channel we can see that there is an alpha map here all of these black areas are transparent and these areas here are the shadows so now we have here an image and it has transparency and it have shadows and everything so we need to save this image here file name test and choose png file format save make sure the alpha channel is checked press ok and now go to our photoshop open this file and as you can see it's transparent here and we have our shadows here we can make another layer to see it better ok so now we need to apply this to our pen file so how are we gonna do that now we've opened our pen model from our previous tutorial and we wanna do the same with it but the problem here is that it uses V-Ray to render and not the default max render and the problem is that we that this matte and shadow material doesn't work with V-Ray let's see let's assign this to our plan and press F9 and see what happens so now after rendering our pen image we can tell if it has transparency or not and to do that we will go to our alpha channel and press so what we can see here is that there is no black areas and this means there is no alpha channel and that our matte and shadow material here doesn't work with V-Ray so what we'll do is we'll go to another empty material then select get material and instead of choosing matte and shadow we will choose V-Ray MTL wrapper double click on it on the base material click on the none then select standard go up and check this matte surface and check shadows and make this minus one now apply this material to our plan here close our material editor and press f9 to render and see what happens so basically what we see here is there is no difference but when we go to our alpha channel 
now we can see that there are these black areas which are transparent and these white areas of the pen which is not transparent and are pen shadows so let's save this pen and png format save and make sure the alpha channel is checked and press ok now go to our photoshop again press file open and select our pen model and as you can see we have nice shadows here and our pen looks beautiful okay so now we need to put this pen on a real image so press file open select our image here and as you can see we have this real image and we want to put this pen into this image so grab this pen put it in here press yes and you can press F on the keyboard to switch to full screen mode you can also press alt plus scroll to zoom in and zoom out you can even zoom in from here we'll make it 100% and now we have our pen and our scene so press ctrl T alt plus shift press and now scale our pen down maybe like this press enter and now our pen is placed on the table now we need to color correct this pen to match our scene so we go to image adjustment curves now make it something like this go to our red channel increase it a bit and our blue channel maybe okay now let's desaturate this one this image adjustment blue hue and saturation and decrease the saturation just maybe something like this and press ok now we can leave it as it is or we can crop this image we will crop it like maybe so and now press enter and our image is done you can press file save as save it as a jpeg and call it maybe print 2 press save and ok and now we finished our image so hope you have learned something new from this my name is abanob and this is gfx today.com <laughs>